How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome back. Okay, I know it's been three weeks of no sly videos, that is terrible. It's not because I'm running out of ideas, nothing like that at all, do not worry. It's just me managing a store full time, and with these recent Spyro rumors and Crash Bandicoot on the Switch, this five year plan of Crash Bandicoot, all that kind of stuff, I guess I prioritized those and Sly got left behind. The last video which was Sly related was the one about that commission, by Blue Striped Renulian. Clockwork coming back looking more anthropomorphic with big wings and having legs. And talking about commissions, this one right here was done by Sam Philstrup. You've probably never heard of this name before, but this guy worked on some scenes of Sly Cooper 4 and Timing is Everything, that animated short which promoted Sly 4. Now the link to his website, I'll leave it in the description below. Maybe you'd like to communicate with him, maybe for a commission, who knows, but I just wanted to point that out. Now looking at this, I told him to draw Sly in his movie outfit. You guessed it all right. I don't know about you, but I prefer his movie outfit. I think it has to do with the darker colors and the pants. It just looks better, I find. Would Carmelita be pantless? Well, okay, Murray doesn't wear pants, he doesn't have the right size, none of them fit on him. If you remember these scenes which promoted Sly 4, now the movie doesn't count, he does have pants, but the movie was a teaser, it's not considered canon. Sure it's not canon, but like I said, I like Sly's outfit in the teaser. Well, Bentley, Bentley is Bentley, he's a turtle, he has a shell. Anyways, that's not the point. This video is going to be very, very basic, just a simple discussion, nothing special. No, this is not a clockwork video. Yes, I love making those, but I'll return to that very soon. For this video, it will be a short discussion, something I enjoy doing from time to time with other series as well, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, I guess. Anyhow, there's one big thing that worries me right now, and that is the reason why I'm making this video right now. Overthinking too much, or in other words, expecting too much from the future of Sly Cooper, be it the TV show or the next game. Those who've been subscribed to this channel for a long time, I'm talking about 2015. You're used to my content, what I do is lore and theory. I would describe my channel with those two words. That's my main niche. I'm not a review channel, although I did make a few in the past, but that's it. Nor am I a let's play channel. Now what I do sometimes worries me, and I make sure to stay away from fan fiction videos. What I do is I discuss characters, certain aspects, and theorize. I don't want to make a video where I just talk about specific scenes in detail and all that kind of stuff. I might make just one video like that, but that is all. If I were to make fan fiction videos, talking with a huge amount of detail, talking about Carmelita for example, where she'd go, what she'd do next, what that'll do is people might enjoy it a lot, and they might start expecting too much from the future of the series. Even theory videos, although I love, absolutely love making them, we might start thinking too much, expecting too much for the next game. When you watch Sly content creators on YouTube, which is something new actually, before we only had I think just a couple, the one I remember is Sly Cooper Rocks 101 if I'm not mistaken, we haven't heard from her at all for a very long time. And these Sly content creators I'm talking about, they dive deep into the series. I'm not talking talking about a channel where you find a Sly Cooper Let's Play among a hundred other titles on their channel, no. If you want to look for Sly Let's Plays, there's tons. You can easily find one. What I'm talking about is a channel which focuses a lot on the aspects of Sly Cooper. Be it reviews, characters, lore, try and explain the motives of characters, right? Some even go to lengths of rewriting the games. And you have these more than an hour long reviews on Sly Cooper. That is impressive. Do you ever think to yourself, the more I watch videos like these, the more I might start enjoying them. And with that, I'm expecting something huge from the next game, let's say. Videos like those, 90% of people end up loving him, liking him, disliking it, or hating it completely. If you love him, you will start wondering like, whoa, I'm listening to these guys talk about something which I've never thought of before. Seeing how the series has so much potential, stuff I've never imagined before, I'm expecting the developer to take this into account. The whole community, and including myself, we don't want just another Sly game. We 
want something great. Watching theory videos talking about characters' backgrounds, it's fun and all. But of course I don't expect the next game, for example, to have any of that. And why? Because we are not the developers. We're just fans making videos. Same goes with the TV show. I'm being very careful not to overdo it. You know, make a pile of videos, start speculating about what will appear, start talking about season 1. The thing is, it's way too early to start even talking about season 1. Or what characters will appear. Well, the characters part is actually interesting, like what characters would appear in season 1, but just talking about the TV show. Start making videos going into detail, I find it's too early. I did make that mistake with the movie, which I regret a lot, all that time and energy spent for nothing, only to later find out that Raymaker let go of the project. I don't know how many sly YouTubers you watch, but if you enjoy 90% of their videos, you'll perhaps start expecting too much. And in return, what we'll get is something subpar. All I'm hoping right now is, if we do get Sly Cooper 5, I'm just hoping that whoever's going to work on it, assuming it's Senzaru, I hope they go over all of the feedback they've received at this point. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave you guys with two words. Be careful, okay? Don't get too excited. Sure, it's fun to speculate, make theater videos, but don't expect the next game, let's say, to dive deep into details. Who knows, the next game might be terrible, or just very basic, with a bunch of plot holes, and of course with a bunch of unanswered questions. We're expecting some questions to get answered in the next game. Like a few at least, the important ones. Like realistically, don't expect all of the questions to get answered. Just the biggest ones. So I'm going to leave it at that. Perhaps you were expecting the usual kind of video? Maybe you weren't expecting this one, me just talking, being worried a bit? But yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys understand. So be careful. So yep, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>